What's up, you guys? Cece back with another video. How y'all feeling? I'm just a regular girl trying to live a fake girl's lifestyle. So I just wanted to start the vlog and say hello. As you can see from the title, today's going to be our two-week update on the Fall 50 Challenge. So I want to know how you guys are doing on the challenge. I'm going to tell you how I've been feeling, what I've been doing, and what's been keeping me going. I feel like I... I feel like I see a little progress. I don't know, girl. We gonna check though a little later, but I feel, I feel like I see a little progress. So uh, don't mind the mess in here, y'all. I gotta clean that up. But I just wanted to start the vlog to say today and say hello. And I'm on my way to an Orange Theory class because we love our Orange Theory. So I'm headed to run, and I will talk to you guys when I get back. All right, y'all, we back. So the workout was so good. It was so good today. I was so tired, but it was necessary, right? So it is 11.45, and I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick because low-key, the hardest part of this workout has been the intermittent fast. I thought it was going to be pretty easy because I swear I usually don't eat until about 12 o'clock, maybe 11.30, 12 o'clock. Sometimes it's 1 or 2 o'clock um, throughout the week, but this has literally been the hardest part. Like, I have had trouble trying to hold out until 12 o'clock. Like I said, it's 11.45, so we're going to just start the breakfast process because um, I'm hungry. I'm starving, and I don't know what, maybe it's like in my mind because... I know I have to do this, right? But I am freaking starving, so we're gonna eat right now. Now, the other night, I'm gonna show you guys this, or I'll show you guys this recipe in like an upcoming video or a short or real, something like that. So just make sure you're following me. Um, but I made these chocolate chip protein oats. They're like baked oats the other day. And I didn't eat them yesterday because I ended up having something else for breakfast, but I'm gonna eat them today. They were so good. And it was super easy, very easy ingredients. You probably have most of it at home already. And like I said, I will link the recipe down below that I use, but I'll also make it on camera for you guys um, soon. I'll make it very, very soon. I promise you, you'll see it. So we're just going to eat that for breakfast. And this is double the recipe call. So I think the recipe is like 400 calories for half of it as you can see I already dug into it but it's like 400 calories for half of it and I doubled the recipe so it's like 400 cows then I'll have me some protein water and then I'll stick that out for a couple hours until I get some coffee I've been having my coffee later in the day it just makes for like a nice afternoon kind of snackish not like a liquid snack I guess but um yeah I like having it in the afternoon and then I feel like I don't crash like if I have it in the morning I feel like I need another cup by like two o'clock but if I have it at like two o'clock I'm good for the rest of my work day so we're gonna have that so I'm gonna warm this up I'm gonna literally drink half the pan and or drink i'm gonna literally eat half the pan and i'm gonna warm it up and use a spoon um and it has the best consistency so just like cutting it and i'm gonna put it into a bowl so this much and the base of it like i said is oats but it has, it has like a cake look at that it has like a cake consistency like a cake banana bread-ish consistency, which I freaking love. I'm gonna put some like oat milk on top of this, like just a little bit, drizzle it on top, and baby, we in business. <laughs> so you don't have to do butter. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on it too. Just like a little, oops, just like a little pat of butter. So like the tiniest little like pat. A butter in there and then I'm gonna throw some oat milk on top just a little bit and so and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave you could probably eat this without microwaving it like you would like I said a cake or something but I like everything warm Yeah, 
look at her okay it looks kind of nasty i'm not gonna lie but it's so good it's not like overly sweet mm, mm -mm. i am totally making that again that is so good y'all Yes. Mm -hmm. all right food makes me happy so i got my water here and um yeah i'm just gonna have this i'm gonna drink some water i'll probably have some protein water as well after i finish this bottle and i gotta get back to work What's up y'all cc back it's the next day actually and time just got away from me yesterday so i didn't finish the vlog so i wanted to come back and and i wanted to talk a little more about what's been really challenging throughout this 50 day challenge so i figured if it's challenging for me it's probably challenging for some of you if you're following the same recipe that i'm following now if you're not you came up with your own rules and habits that you wanted to create that's absolutely fine and amazing um but one of the things that i vowed to do was to journal every day i will be transparent with you it is day 14 and that has not happened okay so um journaling I, i've always loved journaling but i struggle with one thinking i don't have enough time to do so and then two every single day trying to find something to say right so i had a really great gratitude journal that i was using which is the six minute journal which i still love to use every now and then but it has the same three prompts in the morning three prompts in the evening it's supposed to take a total of six minutes time is fine right but i found myself struggling to find something to write every day and obviously there's beauty in every day there is gratitude that can be found in every part of every day and there's infinite ways and and things you can be grateful about but i just found that again i had to think way too hard about what to write in the journal like every single day i don't want to write my family or my job or my friends or my parents my husband kids like i feel like i was just I don't know it just got to be like, I was thinking too hard about it in any event I think I have found a better way to journal so if you guys want to see it I'll show you um I'm not gonna screen share but this is my notion template and if you watch my other videos on my other channel, I've shown you guys this entire template. I'll link that video if you guys want to see the latest one. But I've made some changes to it. And one of the things I've changed is this um, section. And so I'm calling it the Daily Dump, which I'm going to have to think of a new name. It sounds kind of weird. But basically, I'm not going to journal every single day. I I'm going to try to journal as much as possible because I did make a commitment to myself with this challenge. But... My goal is to at least weekly have some journal entries here and I'll go through kind of what my thoughts are for the week, any highlights, any lowlights, and I will kind of fill that out as the week goes on instead of trying to do every single day what you're grateful for and having the same prompts every single day. And I just, I came up with this idea yesterday when I realized I forgot to journal. And so I just kind of created the page. I still need to recreate the cover page. This is not my cover art, but I still need to recreate the cover page and everything. But I thought this would be a good way to do so. Um, there's really nothing to show, so I don't need to like screen share or anything, but um, it's just in my notion template, which kind of holds like all of my life basically. And I'm just going to be kind of going through and when I, when I get a little further along in it, I'll show you guys maybe in a couple more, like in another update video, but yeah, that's how I'm going to be doing it. And since I'm sitting here all day anyway for work, then I can, you know, type out my thoughts, type out my feelings, my frustrations, my happy times my sad times all of that and it's something that i can realistically do and take with me because notion i have it on my phone i have it on my ipad um and then i have it on my laptop and then my desktops as well so super easy way to kind of jot down my thoughts quickly especially when i'm already here so the whole the whole way 
I find myself creating new habits is by habit stacking. And I learned that um, in the book Atomic Habits, which I think I want to reread that again this year. I want to say I read it in 2021. And that book has stuck with me so much. I love that book so much because it just helps you realize how you can create these habits you want, which the habits then help you to build upon and create the life that you want. So Habit stacking is basically a, something that you already do. So you're already brushing your teeth every day, hopefully. So while you're brushing your teeth, if you're like, I want to say my affirmations for the day, then you start by one tiny bit. So you brush your teeth and maybe you want to say five affirmations for the day in the mirror. So as you're brushing your teeth, start with one affirmation. Just say one. Just say one and then slowly build upon it and get to your five affirmations. And then by that time, in 30 days time, you'll be saying five affirmations while you brush your teeth and it'll become second nature. The same way brushing your teeth is second nature. So that's like the gist. I probably explained it really stupidly, but that's the gist of habit stacking. And that is what I found works for me when I'm trying to create a new habit and um, start to do new things. So that's where we are with that. Um, with the journaling, I told you guys, intermittent fasting has just been so rough for me as well. Um, it's currently 10.59 and I am starving. I did an early morning workout, so I got there at 7.30 at Orange Theory and I'm freaking starving right now. Like, starving. So, I got another hour to wait. I'm going to have to, I might have to adjust this, but it's all about doing things that work for you. Like I said, this challenge wasn't so much for weight loss for me. And I know a lot of my habits are centered around weight loss, but it's more so again, just creating those healthy habits and finding what works for me and what I'm most likely to be consistent with in the future. So I... I get that I may not be able to do all of these things every single day in the future, but if I make it a habit, right, working out has become such a habit for me that when I take two rest days in a row, I'm like, uh-uh, my body don't feel right. I have to get back to the gym. Like, it has just become second nature. I wake up, I get dressed, I go to the gym. That's what I do. Sundays, I make my schedule out, see what days I'm going to go to the gym. I get up and go. There's no question about it. There's no, oh, I don't feel like it. Well, I say I don't feel like it every day. However, my ass is in the car on the way to the gym when I'm saying that. So there's no time for me to think about not going because it's just a part of my schedule now. And these habits that I'm setting with this challenge, I want these habits to become a part of my schedule and to become just that commonplace in my life that there's no room for argue, argument with myself, okay? Because I'll talk myself out of it real quick, real quick. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start journaling that way, see if it works. Like I said, I'll update you guys, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. What's up, guys? It is a good bit later. Who my sunglasses? It's a good bit later, y'all. It's like 6 o'clock, and we're headed outside for our daily walk i've been trying to take a walk like every day if the weather's good to get the rest of my steps in this is how i've definitely been getting my steps in along with just standing up daily making sure well every probably hour or so making sure i'm walking around today i was so invested in work i completely forgot to do that so i got about four thousand steps to get it's about six o'clock so i'm gonna take two of the rugrats and we're going on a little walk What's up, y'all? So it's the end of the day. I'm just sitting here doing some cleaning and kind of reflecting on my fall 50 journey so far. And the more I think about it, the more... So 
I'm trying not to think about it as a fitness challenge, right? So I told you guys when I started the challenge, I don't want it to be a fitness challenge for me, for you. Well, I mean, it can be whatever you want it to be. But for me, I didn't want it to be a fitness challenge. I want it to be more like put more emphasis about building healthy habits versus counting my calories and macros and all that. I know that was a part of what I said, but I wanted I, I made that a part of the journey because I wanted it to be again more of a how do I build the habit of doing these things and and and, I, and every time my brain keeps coming back to fitness right that's just kind of where my brain goes and I want to rewire it to not go there and just be like just do the right things and the weight loss will come right the fitness part will come so um, the more I th and then the more I think about like what I'm doing I think about the why that I'm doing it and I'm like I feel like the walking is going to be the difference maker right so the thing with the walking like I was just looking at my watch so so far I have been um, 11,500 steps or well, 11,484 steps you guys every day that I get over 10,000 steps I am very close to like 900 like around that 900 to a thousand calorie mark if i leave my watch on like to the end of the night i am right at that 900 to a thousand calorie mark when i do not hit 10,000 steps even on the days that i work out my active calories are only around like 700 750 ish if i don't hit that 10k steps so that tells me that just by going on a walk just by walking for like 30 extra minutes and hitting that 10k step on top of my workouts obviously but just by walking that 30 extra minutes on top of my workouts it's putting me at the 10k plus steps and i am burning two to three hundred more calories a day so if I am putting myself in a say I'm in a calorie deficit right now, which I am right now. Um, so 1890 calories, 1850, 1890 calories kind of where I want to be. If I eat 2000 calories that day, but I'm getting my 10k steps in. That will put me over a little over 100, like 150 calories over what I'm eating. I'm technically still in a calorie deficit because I've walked those extra two to 300 steps. You know what I'm saying? Or it's, I've, I've walked those extra steps and I've gotten the extra two to 300 calories. Like walking is such a game changer right now. And I feel like I feel it in everything. And I feel like that is the difference maker. Like, yes, I want to keep working out because, you know, that's just what I love to do. And that's, that's what's obviously getting me more calories. But just walking at a low impact, which is like no effort, that's going to be the difference maker here for me. Like, I really want to test this out and and keep this going every day. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I'm definitely going to do. But that was just my kind of revelation for the day. Like, walking is the difference maker. And I, I feel like that's what's going to be the game changer for me. But we'll see as time goes on. Like I said, I just want to build the healthy habits. That's what I'm trying to do. So um, it's the end of the night. I'm just finishing up cleaning my creative space and then I'm going to go upstairs shower take this watch off I'm going to do my journaling in notion and I'm going to head to bed because I am lifting tomorrow so I need some good sleep so um, I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching I hope you're enjoying the journey I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys want to see next do you want to see a workout do you want to see another what i eat in a day let me know what you want to see leave it down below in the comment section i would love to hear it and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye